And as those temperatures began to pick up this weekend, we wanted to see how organizations are helping Columbia's homeless population stay cool. Here's Lauren Thomas tonight. I try to make sure I drink a lot of water. Sabrina Brown has been homeless for the past two years, and while outside, she tries to take precautions when it comes to the heat. I, um, I stay underneath the shade area, and if it get hot, I just move to another shade area. And if it get hotter in that shade where, you know, it's time for me to go, where it's get a little hot, get dehydrated and stuff, I just walk up there to the library where it's more cooler. There's always someone that can help them, that we're always here to help. Major Henry Morris with Salvation Army explains that they help Transitions Homeless Center throughout the year. We um, provide them with water as, as we also, um, we, we have our family stores. And what they do is that when, when they need like fans or stuff like that, we, we allow, we get them vouchers to go to our stores to get um, the necessary fans they need, different things, cooling that they need to, to sustain themselves. They can also get cooler clothing with those vouchers. Community partners like Main Street Church also come around to personally hand out water and sandwiches. However, Brown says she hopes more can be done in the city to help folks out on the street. But I just hope they do open up a shelter though. Because I know the temperature is getting a lot high, you know, higher and higher. And what if the library closed down for whatever reason we out here on the street? You know, it's like people can just pass out. In Columbia, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX. Well, battery-operated fans can be donated to the Salvation Army's family store from 10 until 5, Monday through Saturday.